The Russian Defense Ministry was quoted as saying by Russian news agencies that 14 Russian submariners have been killed in an incident. As per sources, the incident took place on the AS-31 deep-sea nuclear submarine nicknamed Lasharik. Lasharik was designed for research, rescue and special operations and can hold up to 25 crew members. As per reports, a fire broke out at 8.30 p.m. on Monday. The ministry reported, on July 1st in Russian territorial waters, a fire broke out on board a deep water scientific research vessel that was studying the marine environment of the world ocean on behalf of the Russian Navy. 14 submariners died as a result of smoke inhalation. Work is underway to establish the cause of the incident. The investigation is being conducted by the Commander-in-Chief of the Navy. The ministry stated the fire was extinguished thanks to the self-sacrificing actions of the team. The incident is believed to have occurred off Russia's northern shore in the Barents Sea, though the ministry has not provided specific details. President Putin stated, this is a great loss. A U.S. Sixth Fleet spokesperson told USNI News he was unaware of any request for assistance from the Russian government. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes the deadly mishap of Lasharik Sub and what it says about the Russian military. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank or aircraft and three days of premium account. According to Russian language news service RBC, Losharik is a nuclear-powered submarine operated by the Russian Main Directorate of Deep Sea Research, also known as GUGI. GUGI develops and operates a fleet of specialized submarines. These vessels are shrouded in secrecy and are believed to be used for deep sea research and covert operations. It's interesting to note that the organization reports directly to Russian military intelligence and not the Russian Navy. The sub's name is derived from a popular Russian cartoon horse that's made of juggling balls. Some reports suggest that the sub is made up of a series of possibly seven orb-shaped spaces. This design enables the sub to be able to dive deeper than a submarine which has a traditional hull. According to several analysts, the 2,000-ton vessel can be hitched under the belly of a specially modified Delta III nuclear ballistic missile submarine. It's thought to be able to detach and dive to thousands of feet below the surface. Several reports indicate vessels like Losharik could be used to disrupt undersea cables. Russia, as usually, has not been forthcoming with information. The news was disclosed nearly after a day of the incident. From Chernobyl to Kursk and now this one, it's always tried to suppress anything which shows Russia in a bad light. As opposed to the West, the Russian media is very much censored. Most of the Russian state-owned media have reported on the fire and the deaths but, as expected, didn't criticize the government. Unlike those, a new site named The Bell put up a proper comment. It stated, nearly a day without information about an accident in a nuclear facility and the need to look out for Norwegian statements on the level of radiation should have given a shudder to those who remember the Chernobyl nuclear power station. Norway's Radiation and Nuclear Safety Authority DSA, said that they had not detected any abnormal radiation in the area. It also added that its measurements were similar to the public information provided by Moscow. Frode Plem, the head of Greenpeace in Norway, urged Russian authorities to be fully transparent 
in order to safeguard the interests both of Russia and neighboring countries like Norway. Russia has suffered several deadly submarine mishaps for the last two decades. The latest one is one of the most catastrophic ones since the Kursk disaster, which happened in August 2000. To give viewers an idea, here's a list of incidents. August 12, 2000, the nuclear powered submarine Kursk sank due to a detonation in its torpedo room. It killed all the 118 submariners on board. August 30, 2003, K-159 nuclear submarine sank. The incident occurred when it was being towed to a harbor. It was also a nuclear-powered sub and the incident killed nine crew members. August 7, 2005, Pritz Submersible, which is itself a rescue vehicle, got trapped underwater when it was training. It got caught in fishing nets and cables. Britain's Royal Navy, in coordination with the United States and Japan, helped rescue the seven Russian sailors after three days. September 7, 2006 A fire started aboard the nuclear-powered submarine Danil Moskovsky. This killed two crew members. November 8, 2008 A major mishap occurred in K-152 Nerpa. It resulted due to an issue in the fire extinguishing system. It killed 20 sailors and injured around 20. December 29, 2011 Fire broke out in nuclear sub Yekaterinburg. Several people were injured. Fortunately, no one was killed. September 16, 2013 It was reported that 15 sailors were injured when a fire broke out on the Tomsk nuclear submarine. The fire was controlled relatively quickly. April 7, 2015 Nuclear submarine Oryol caught fire. It happened when it was being repaired. As per reports, there were no casualties. April 29, 2016 Krasnoyarsk nuclear submarine caught fire during disassembly. There were no reports of injuries. Not only submarine incidents, there have been many other incidents too. In December 2016, a Russian military plane carrying 92 people crashed into the Black Sea killing everyone on board. Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia's sole aircraft carrier, suffered a major mishap last year while undergoing overhaul work at a dockyard in Roislakovo near Murmansk. The Kuznetsov was stationed inside floating dock PD-50. The dock capable of handling vessels up to 80,000 tons is the biggest one Russia has and one of the largest in the world. On the 30th of October, the dock's tank started to take in water and led to tilting of the dock on one side. Somehow, PD-50 did not capsize and as the water filled the dock, Kuznetsov floated and was tugged out. In about four hours, PD-50 went down and sank. Since August 2000, when Kursk sank to the floor of the Barents Sea, there have been a lot of speculations about the work culture as well as safety standards in the Russian Navy. The latest accident has again drawn the focus back on the state of affairs when it comes to the Russian military as a whole. The military has seen budget constraints and neglect since the collapse of the Soviet Union. President Putin has been trying to improve the situation. Many upgrade plans as well as better training programs are being funded. It is to be noted that Russia's annual military budget is around 69.2 billion US dollars, whereas it's more than 700 billion US dollars for the United States. The issue seems to be that Russia is trying to flex its muscles. It has significantly increased its military activities and extended its theater of operations. Last year, the then Defense Secretary of Britain, Gavin Williamson, had stated, We're rapidly having to come to terms with this new age of warfare. Look at Russia's resurgence under President Putin. Its submarine activity has increased tenfold in the North Atlantic. In March 2019, Rear Admiral Andrew Lennon, commander of NATO's submarines, said, Certainly in the past decade, we've observed an increase in Russian submarine activity in the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean Sea. 
they've developed some very quiet and very capable submarines. Taking into consideration all the telltale signs, it can be said that Russia is overstretching its military. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.